We are learning more about the lives lost in that attack, including nine-year-old Daniel Enrique Lasso Guzman. Stephen McCandless is the superintendent for the Cleveland Independent School District, where Daniel attended classes. He joins us now live to talk more about all of this. Thank you so much for taking the time here to join us. I know right now, obviously, a very difficult and emotional time. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me on this morning. Of course. So first off, just kind of tell me how you found out that this had even happened in your community there. So early Saturday morning, I received a text message from our district police chief, Angie Allen, uh, alerting me to an event that had hit the, the news of uh, it happened in our community in a subdivision. And at the time, you're, you're really not sure if it involved any of your students or staff or, or who it could be. She just made me aware. And as Saturday morning uh, continued to go along and information started coming out, uh, we were becoming aware that we do have a student at that address around the age that the news was reporting. And it's, you know, working with uh, law officials um, when they're on scene and, and they're covering a such a horrific scene uh, it's it's hard to get information but we were able to verify that it was one of our students uh, later in the morning on Saturday and then we put our crisis um, response plan in mode as a district uh, to respond to student staff in the community starting Saturday tell me about San Jacinto County and Cleveland in general because I imagine that you know, it's a fairly smaller area and a fairly tight knit community. It is. San Jacinto County is rural. Uh, one thing about Cleveland ISD is we are such a large district. We are located in four different counties in southeast Texas. And San Jacinto County does house the, the trails in subdivision where many of our students live. Uh, it's rural, it's wooded. Uh, the people in that subdivision have about one acre lots. Um, and, you know, they, they just live a, a blue collar life. They're hard working people, really good people out there dedicated to family, dedicated uh, to the community and the district. Uh, so for something like this to happen uh, in in that community, it sent shockwaves uh, throughout our entire school district. What's it like to see the outpouring of support that you have seen there? Because we know a vigil's been held. There were people who came out not just from the community, but from elsewhere who just wanted to support, you know, Daniel and his family. It has been overwhelming to say the least at how um, this tight knit community, when something happens, especially something like this, they pull together as if we are all one big family unit and they are there to take care of each other. Uh, the outpouring from the community outside of Cleveland, from across the state and from across the nation, um, we cannot thank people enough for their thoughts and prayers. Um, you know, trying to help us understand and get through such a senseless act uh, that was brought into to this community and and has affected the lives of students and staff. Um, I, I cannot thank people enough. The vigil on Sunday, we had people from all over who came out uh, to join us in uh, prayers and give us their best. Uh, this this little boy. Um, Daniel, it's um, it hurts to know we've we've lost him. Um, you know, I remember visiting the campus along with many of our other administrators during lunch, uh, during class time, di different events. I didn't know uh, Daniel personally at all. With us having twelve thousand students, uh, but seeing him in the lunchroom or in the gym as you visit. He was like any other student who loved to come to school, had a smile on his face. Uh, he had a bright future ahead of him. He had plans, he had friends. We've heard from his friends who tell us even more about Daniel than any of us could ever know. Uh, and to know that that, that was taken away uh, from us, from this community, from his family, um, it, it has really hurt us. 
uh, we have pulled together to to try to make sense of it and understand it and we're we're going to get through this we are a strong community a strong district and um i, I know daniel would say that's what i want y'all to do so um in, in memory of him that's exactly what we're going to do here in cleveland isd what kind of effect does something like this have on the community? As we discussed, it brought people together. It is bringing people together to show support for, you know, both the family, the district, pretty much everyone in that area. But what kind of effect does it have specifically on the community overall? You know, it's an immediate shock when this happened. And then the parents and the community, it starts setting in about safety, especially still knowing uh, that this uh, person is out there, has not been caught. And as a parent, um, they, they start thinking about, is my child safe? Are they safe at the bus stop? Uh, we're locking our doors. Should we even send them to school? Uh, the school district has increased our security. We even increased the security and patrols at the Trails Inn subdivision for our early morning bus runs. Uh, we are doing everything that we can and will continue to do it uh, to let these parents see we're going to go above and beyond uh, to, to ensure as much safety as we can for the students who are still coming to school each and every day. And you know, Parents, their job is to protect their child, and um, they're still worried. They are concerned. We see it in our social media post. Uh, we hear it out in the community, in the grocery stores, at church, uh, you know, out and about. But they know we're doing everything we can to provide as much normalcy and everyday routine and definitely safety and security uh, for these students. All right, Stephen McCandless, thank you so much for taking the time here to join us today to talk a little bit about Daniel and about the community there. Is there anything else that you want to add before I let you go? I just want to say thank you to the nation, uh, to everyone out there who has been sending their thoughts and prayers. Uh, that is what helps any community get through with something like this. And um, we're, we are going to make it through this. We're strong. Again, thank you to your viewers, to everyone out there. Um, you know, God be with us all. All right. Thank you again for taking the time here to join us. Absolutely. Thank you.